Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you profess to be, it's all cool. In a moment of whimsy, I recently made a video which I said, you know, coming soon, review time. Review time. Coming soon. Anyway, this is a review, review number one of this channel. It's of a movie from 1970. The movie is this one. Puff and Stuff. It's a spin-off of the TV series HR Puff and Stuff. From 1969. It's I guess more or less the same. It's um not bigger budget, I guess. Bigger budget is there's no HR in the actual title, so it's missing. Also missing is the uh, theme song of the original TV series. HR Puff and Stuff Who's your friend when things get rough? HR Puff and Stuff He can't do a little cause he can't do enough. That's missing, so... Be prepared. The music in it is indicative of its time. That's sort of late 60s, early 70s sort of... What would it be like? Sunshine pop, you know. Stuff with little brass sort of embellishments in the pop sort of sound. Yeah, stuff like um Harper's Bazaar were a big name at the around that around about that time. Being a proponent of that sort of sound, that sort of uh genre. And um it's uh the music the music isn't it's not that remarkable the, the songs. Um there is a song on them, which is a good, which is pretty good, it's a very good tune, it's very, which stands out from the rest, and that's the song called Living Island. That's got a really good tune, um, I don't want to sing it because I can't think of it at the moment, but um, it stands out of a sore thumb. And I'll tell you how it starts off, to get you into the story, and then, I won't tell you the whole thing, obviously, but um, it starts off with Jimmy, played by Jack Wilde. The movie stars Jack Wilde as Jimmy. Um, there's Billy Hayes as Wilhelmina W. Witchy Poo, Witchy Poo. And there's some guest stars in the movie Martha Ray as the Boss Witch, and Mama Cass of the Mamas and the Papas as Witch Hazel. Okay, Jimmy goes to school. He's late, you know, he has to go to brand practice. He's late. And he gets there and he gets stripped up by a bully who hates him. His teacher, I think, hates him even more. And so he gets, ends up getting expelled, suspended, and he shoots through. He just wanders off to the woods and goes into the forest. And, you know, he just sits underneath a tree, pulls out his flute, just throws it down. And I won't be needing you anymore. And suddenly the flute transformed into this golden, diamond-encrusted, talking flute with a lip fade eyes called Freddy. Now, Jimmy obviously is shocked, as you would be. So, after the sho initial shock has been overcome, Jimmy and Freddy become great pals and they're running around, <laughs> you know, as you would be, you know, when you found out you know, <laughs> brand new friend is a flute, you can talk. And then they end up by the um a riverbank where there's a boat, a talking boat. And they're just talking away a little while and hop into the boat, go for a ride. And it's a boat, it's a bright sort of blue boat, blue it's summery sparkly, it's a Got a big sail which says Living Island. And Jimmy and Freddie hop in the boat and then going off there doing their thing. And suddenly it's it's all subterfuge subterfuge for um some evil doings, some evil goings on. Courtesy of Witchy Poo. Because up in the sky, in her broom broom, that's her broom broom with a sort of sidecar, powered by petrol. There's Witchy Poo, 
and her number two, a vulture named Orson. And they're just flying overhead. Because Witchy Poo wants that flute. Freddy. The boat, which is all bright and sparkly and suddenly turns dark, sort of gruesome and everything just goes haywire and Jimmy and Freddy go overboard. Freddy is in Jimmy's pocket, so he's fairly safe. So, um, we washed us all to Living Island. Um, so yeah, Witchy Poo wants Freddy because there's a witches convention coming up. And Witchy Poo figures if she had that flute, she'd be a shoe in for Witch of the Year. And it's quite possible, it possibly would be, you know. So, her aim is to get that flute. She would do anything. But meanwhile, ashore on Living Island, Jimmy and Freddie have been washed ashore. They end up in the town where they meet Mayor H.R. Puff and stuff and sort of all the other, other sort of town folk, like um, an owl called Dr. Blinky, and there's, there's others as well. And um, they become friends, they become, get to know each other. They bring into a musical number. The, the movie is a musical, basically, as I said. Lots of music in it. So, now Witchy Poo, she wants Freddy. So, she, she disguises herself as a blonde go-go dancer to become a dance instructor as well. And she manages to get Freddy. She tricks Pup and stuff and Jimmy and actually manages to um, wander off, <laughs> skedaddle with uh, Freddy. And that's basically what they got to do to rescue Freddy. And meanwhile, um, the Witch's Convention gets moved to Witchy Poo's castle. So there's all that ha that's going on as well. Puff and stuff ends up as the main course during the, during the events of the uh, movie at, on, on a spit you know, as dinner. And it's uh, always well, anymore. The main thing is in the movie is to rescue Freddy and um, Puff and stuff. And there's a lot, lot more, but I won't say any more. It's a good movie. It's a pretty good movie, a very good movie. I mean, the, mu the mu music, some of the songs are, aren't that great. Except for that one, Living Island, it's a good, very good tune, eh? It's, yeah, it's alright. The movie, the music, it's okay, the music, but, you know, it's not top-notch, you know. It's, the other stuff's pretty good, it's just a, uh, it's insane. It's just colourful. It's of its era. The whole thing's of its era. And it's entertaining. It's very good. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I give it about a 7.5 out of 10. A 75% approval rating. So that's pretty good. It's from 1970. It's this movie. I like it. And that's review one. Possibly the only review. I made good on my promise of that other video I did. And here it is, and goodbye.